It's time. The time's coming. You know what time's coming. New year, new me. I'm about to make these big changes. And guess what? You would think I'm going to talk shit about that. But I don't care when you make the changes. We just need you to make the changes. Because the fact is there's too many people walking around with these negative, poor attitudes, poor outlooks on life, and a poor perspective. And it all comes down to one thing. And I've found the root. The root of why and how you'll be able to stick to your goals or not comes down to one thing, and that's stress management. Stress management is the ceiling to your success level. Stress management is the ceiling to your potential, and good thing about ceilings, they can be raised. How do we raise our stress management level? It's by weathering ourselves in the penitentiary. Guess what? It's a high stress environment. So guess how I came out and killed it? Guess how I came out and killed it? I'm used to stress. I'm used to it. You guys are out here talking shit on stress just because your ability to management, manage your stress is low. When your stress management level is high, nothing can fuck with you. I lived in a high stress environment for 10 years. My perspective on what stress is, is nothing compared to yours. So when shit starts to get frustrating, when I get angry, when I start to get stressed out, I automatically relate back to way more stressful times in my life. And I just say, this is Cupcakeville for a bunch of pussy broads that are about to tap because they don't get to eat the food they want and they don't get to do what they want because they think life's about doing what you want, but really life's about doing what you gotta fucking do. It ain't about doing what you love to do. At a certain point, when you start to get some shit in this world, it's gonna get real stressful. And that's where the real motherfuckers thrive. That's why people who come from war, that's why people who come from the pen, that's why people who come from high stress jobs and high stress fucking tasks, you don't have to fucking live a stupid life like I didn't go to the pen. You can self-inflict adversity and put stress on yourself daily to weather yourself. If you learn to weather yourself like a program that I teach through non-negotiable steps of building stress management, building discipline, and magnifying that inner fucking dialogue. That internal dialogue during difficult times, that self-talk during difficult times is what's gonna make you fucking pull off your goals this year or bitch the fuck out. That fat motherfucker with tits, he's just sitting there thinking, oh, I don't get to eat my special foods. I don't get my snacks. And then he talks himself out of it. He's telling himself he's fucking hungry. None of you motherfuckers are hungry. None of you guys are hungry. In the penitentiary, we're, we learn stress management on a whole different perspective. Them mornings when you wake up and you walk to the toilet, you're already angry, you're already negative. And you just want to have a cup of coffee. You walk up to the sink. Oh, fuck. You know they're coming in. Now your morning just started with a raid. The cops, the goon squad comes running in. And guess what? You're hot. You're riding dirty. You got all the kites and all the blades that are going to the back to shoot. And you got them. You got them. So guess what? Guess where it's going? Time to hoop that shit, motherfucker. Do you know what stress is in your life? Your pretty little cupcake, cupcake candy land life that you might not be able to pay the bill on your fucking truck? You really call this stress? The motherfuckers who know stress are impervious to defeat because stress is nothing to them. They literally wait for the high stress moment. They magnify their self-talk and they know that their self-talk during high stress fucking times is who they will become. So through their self-talk, through the actions in those high stress times, they're creating someone who can't be stopped. So next time you're in a high stress moment, realize this is the time, this is the test. And during that high stress time, that's who the fuck you are. You ain't who you are when you wake up and have your perfect protein shake and then everything's perfect. Nobody gets in your way on the way to the gym. Nobody's fucking with you and life is part. That ain't life, motherfucker. You're gonna try to start an online business and you're gonna come through a million fucking problems that straight piss you off daily. But your ability to manage this stress and not tap like a bitch on your dreams is where everything lies. 
These motherfuckers are going to try to quit drinking this year. These motherfuckers are going to try to quit eating so many fucking Twinkies. These motherfuckers are going to say, I got to make it to the gym every day. And what they got to do is strengthen their core beliefs so that they don't tap out and negotiate with their lesser selves. So as you been, begin to fucking negotiate because the stress is building, oh, I worked all day, uh, I got to do all this other stuff after work. You're making that stress, motherfucker, one thing at a time, homeboy. Just do one fucking act at a time. And that's why the process has to be non-negotiable so that you see the variables at hand and you're able to dial them in quicker. If you eat the same breakfast every morning, it makes life real fucking easy. If you're always choosing what you want, I don't know, today I might have pancakes, tomorrow I might have some egg. If you're always doing that fucking bullshit, you'll never be efficient, literally. Oh, well, Wes, that doesn't sound like a real quality life. I, I really don't get to do what I want. Motherfucker, the day in this world that you ever get to do what you want to do all the time and be who you want to be will never fucking come. And the fact is, is you would have already got your goals, surpassed them in every way if you didn't get stressed out and negotiate with your lesser self. So what stops the negotiations, motherfucker? Your core beliefs your core values. I'm a leader. I've always been a leader. I was a leader before the pen. I was a leader in the pen and I came out a leader. All those guys sitting there talking shit. Oh, let's say the shot caller. Sure looks like I'm calling a motherfucker. Sure looks like I'm calling him from my CEO chair while you're on your grandma's couch still motherfucker. What? Yeah, that's right. The fact is, is we just consider the source and low budget, low level, low lives are gonna try to take the wind out of your sails, but you come work with a motherfucker like me, and I'm just gonna be on your case that you're not dialing in your day enough, that you're talking yourself out of your goals, that your core beliefs aren't strong enough, that fat fucking CEO leader motherfucker who don't even take his own advice is destined to raise people who are fucking not living up to their potential and they will be his biggest energy leak and they will take him down. So you have to understand that it's extreme accountability to all those around you by you living up to everything that you want them to be. If you want your son to be something, you gotta be it, motherfucker. These motherfuckers are saying, do as I say, not as I do. What the fuck is that shit? You're gonna pass on these horrible traits? So the fact is, is that fat fucking pussy of a CEO who literally can't get his life together wants you to listen to him, but it's dead fucking obvious he don't listen to himself. Every morning his bitch ass wakes up and he says, I'm not going to woof down all that barbecue today. I'm not going to eat all those muffins today. And every fucking day he does. But yeah, he wants you to listen to him. He needs to take a page in his own fucking book. And this is what we got to start doing. We got to start reading these books you're reading. You got to start reading them, motherfucker, and then turning the book around. You see the picture of the author? Does he look like he lives the disciplined life that he preaches? Does he look like it? Yeah, we got a judge. Had a bitch on a call the other day. A coach to one of the top, top business guys on the planet. You would know both these people. And I got on a Zoom call with him. He wanted to talk to me for some reason. And I said, I won't listen to you. I'm not going to listen to you. And he says, why? I said, because it's obviously, it's obvious, motherfucker, that you don't listen to your goddamn self. Why would I listen to you? He's like, how do you know I don't listen to myself? You don't want to look like that. Nobody would want to look like how you look. Be honest, motherfucker. Be honest. And he's just like, well, I guess I've been being, I'm, I guess I want to fucking um, put a little more muscle on. I say, well, there's no I guess. Is your conscience telling you to do it or not, pussy? And the fact is, it just enraged me because I see more in this man. I see more than he's willing to get. And he's like, well, I'm just working on mindset. Motherfucker, your comprehension level of what you could do physically in a small amount of time is so low. You believe that building a quality physique, enhancing your self-esteem, enhancing your self-image, is it going to help you push a better mindset program that helps people and enriches their lives? You're fucking tripping. And the fact is, is I finally got him to admit it. I finally got him to admit it by saying, I won't fucking listen to you. Nobody should listen to you because you don't listen to you. 
This shit has to be across the board. If you preach any amount of wisdom, you have to live it across the board. Don't expect your people to listen to you if you drop intensity on any of these tasks when, when fucking just straight constructing your vision. I need you guys to be the best. Just like in the pen when I needed the guys around me to live up to their greatest potential so I could respect them. That's going to be the same thing with your family, with your employees, with everybody around you. Don't you fucking tell them those comfortable lies. Don't you fucking tell them those comfortable lies. Give them the hard truths that you know all too well. But only after you've got the results in the area you're preaching, motherfucker, don't be one of these dudes writing full books on discipline and obviously are missing the fact that there's action behind this shit. Get the fuck up and know that stress management is your ability, is your fucking six, your ability to manage stress is your success level. It's the ceiling to everything. If you never fucking break, because that shit don't stress you out, because you empty the trash of the stress of the day every moment by moment, and you do one task at a time with complete clarity, then you realize that it's all under your control, and you ain't stressed out at all. Humans aren't even supposed to live like that. We're supposed to live in a state of flow. One task at a time, perfectly allocated to your day, because guess what? You live a monotonous day all the time because success is boring. Success is monotonous. But guess what? The pride attached to it isn't. It's very fulfilling. And then it rubs off on those around you. And then there's no energy leaks on the people around you who were failing before. Then you can actually speak. Then you're not a fraud. Then you're ready to level everyone up around you. I love you guys. Let's fucking come into this new year like a motherfucker.